Hey everybody, what's up everybody who is tuning in live? I know that you all are just now getting the notification, so come on in. Hey everybody that's gonna be on the replay. We're about to have some fun. We're gonna play with some Natasha Denona eyeshadows because I know that you all love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. And a little birdie has notified me that these Natasha Denona eyeshadows are back. So that's what we're gonna be playing with today. Sharon Baker is in the house. Hey, Sharon. So this is actually my second time going live today, you guys. I actually went live on my Instagram for IGTV playing with some Sean Sakai products. So if you are not subscribed to me and follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that because I'm going to be going live on Instagram more often because I just want to make sure that I'm connecting with as many of you all as possible because I know that a lot of you all don't get notifications on here. So I'm definitely going to start doing more stuff on Instagram. So definitely follow me. My name on the entire internet is Kelsey Brianna J. So if you're looking for me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, YouTube, follow me on everything. It's Kelsey Brianna J. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter. Yes. So hey, everybody. Uh, everybody's coming on in. As you all can tell by the title, we're going to be playing with some Natasha Denona. Y'all, I had to dig these out because I found out that these things are back. Hey, everybody. Hey, Don. Hey. Hey, everyone. Yes, I definitely wanted to play with these because it's been a while since I played with them on my channel. The last time I pulled these out was in 2017 on my channel. Or you know what? I think I pulled them out for the ranking. But the last time that I did a look with them was in 2017. And that has been a while. But I did link that video down in the description box if anybody is interested in them. But uh, the reason why I brought these out is because Natasha Denona secretly put these back on her website. So I left a link for both of these down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. So if you're buying it, I won't receive any credit for it or anything like that. But I just wanted to link them down there for your convenience if you're interested because they're kind of hidden on her website. It's not like you could just go on there and it's just advertising it, you know? I know, you know, I saw that. <laughs> Thank you. What? Stop it. That is so funny. That is so funny. I'm so glad they came back too. Super secret. So before we get into these eyeshadow palettes, I wanted to give you all a little bit of an update on my channel because I know some of you all don't really understand what I was talking about last week in regards to my channel. So I'll give you all the edited version of everything that was going on and hopefully you all can, you know, kind of get feel where I'm coming from and why I ended up posting that last week and crying out for YouTube's help. So basically, you all, it's not been a secret how I feel about the algorithm and how it just, I feel like it's unfair in the way that it projects certain content. You all from, I've been making content on YouTube since 2010 before Google acquired YouTube. So YouTube used to be an independent entity that was not owned by Google. But after, I don't remember what year it was, maybe like 2014, something like that, Google bought YouTube, right? And from that time, I had an account on YouTube already, a standing account, but I did not have a Gmail account. When Google bought YouTube, it required everybody to have a Gmail account. So instead of prompting us to make a Gmail account, it then converted our regular accounts that we already had into Gmail accounts. So under my account, I had two accounts. And my account has always been like that because I've always used another email. And I'm not going to say which email, but I just wasn't using Gmail to log in. So I already had my email set up. And then I had Gmail came in and they made a Gmail account. Hey, y'all. I'm going to say hey. Hi, Michelle. Happy weekend to you. Hey, Raven. 2013. Yes, it seems like it was around that time. Thank you, Sandra. So yeah, that sounds right, 2013, 2014. So they made a Gmail account for us and it kept my original email address. So when I logged in, I had two accounts. So I would click the one that had my YouTube account on there, right? It's been like that. I didn't know that it wasn't a brand account, but we'll get into that. So it's not been a problem. So I thought for all this time, it's not been an issue because my videos still will rank in the algorithm, especially if I put something out first. Now, this is a totally separate issue. I've talked to you all before about how the algorithm will bury your content. I cannot tell you how many times I've been the first one to post a video on whatever new product has been out. 
I will be number one until all the other videos start flooding in. And then I'll go back and look up the exact hashtag that I know I put on my video. And my video is now on the fourth or fifth page, which who is going to the fourth or fifth page or whatever, you know? So I already have an issue with that, but that's not what I'm talking about with this thing. So my account has been under the same Gmail account since 2014. I haven't bothered it. It's been there. It's not been an issue. Fast forward to December 2020, right? So I made a Gmail account that was not intended for me. I made a Gmail account for my grandparents. It was for their organization, right? They are older. They get technology, but not really. I'm like, let me help y'all. I will make you all a Gmail account for your organization, right? It's a Kwanzaa organization. They all have a lot of different members there, but none of them are really that tech savvy. So they all get communications and emails to their personal email addresses. So I'm like, you all need something that's just set up just for the organization. So I offered to do that for them. No problem. It took me five minutes to do it. I have so many Gmail accounts that I have created since I started doing YouTube. I know you all know I do Kelbell University. That is my that's my school where I teach one on one lessons. I have a Gmail account for that. And then I've just created other ones over the years, but none of them have merged with my YouTube channel. So for some reason, when I made this Gmail account for my grandparents, my YouTube channel merged onto it and it made my log on login information go to that. And it split my account now three ways. So now under this Kwanzaa account, I now have three accounts. And the third one was my YouTube account. So I've been dealing with this since December. I noticed immediately that I had a drop in my views. I noticed immediately that I wasn't getting as many new subscribers per month, which was really weird because during the holidays, you see a spike because more people are shopping, more people are online, more people are at home and off from work. So that is a really, really high time to get views and people shopping through your links and all kinds of things on YouTube. But all of mine tanked. So I'm like, I bet you it's, re it's related to this email and my account is not being listed the same way, something. So I, I almost never ask for help. You know what I'm saying? If I come to you all with something, it's because I have literally reached my wits end with it and I've tried to figure it out by myself. That's just me. I'm not a person who's just going to come out in, at the beginning and say, oh my gosh, I can't do it. I try to exhaust every resource myself and look up everything myself to try to figure it out. Okay. So like I said, December, I'm just not telling y'all about this in May, mind you. So I've been trying to figure out how to get my channel off of this account that I made for my grandparents. And I figured, you know what? I see a decline in my views. I see a decline in where I'm ranked in the algorithm, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep pressing on because I don't want you all to think that I'm just a complainer, especially because we went through all of that stuff that we went through last year, right? And I told myself, I said what I had to say last year and the people who were receptive to that last year were receptive to it. I appreciate you all. And I felt like we were on the up and up and we were actually making some progress. But then in December, I saw all of that revert. And I know it wasn't because you all just randomly stopped supporting, you know? So I'm like, I know that it has something to do on the back end. So I've been trying to figure out how to get this fixed because to me, it seemed like it was an easy fix. It was a simple mistake that was made not by me because I did not do anything to click it. I didn't click my account to add to that. I didn't accidentally do anything. It just randomly did that and it connected it together. I don't know why. And since I've said that, so many people have said the same thing has happened to them. But for those people that it's happened to, they're like, it's not that big of a deal because they don't have a platform attached to it. You know, so they'll just make another account and move on. It's not that simple when I have a thousand plus videos and time and energy that I put into this channel to just move on. So um, I've been emailing back and forth with YouTube and they have been giving me that same response. You all saw that response that they gave me. If you follow me on Twitter and I was keeping you all updated with everything on my Instagram page for the days when it was going on, they gave me that same response. Check to see if your account is eligible to be merged. If it ends in Gmail, most of the time it's not able to. So I'm like, why is it not able to? 
when I'm telling you that this is not my account and I feel like this is affecting my channel. So YouTube has this um, this chat, this chat uh, um, service that you're able to do with someone from YouTube studio. So I was talking with this girl and I was explaining y'all, I over explain stuff when I'm trying to tell people what I'm going through, because I want you to understand every single level of what I'm trying to say. I don't want to leave any stone unturned where you're like, Oh, I don't really understand what she's trying to say. No, I'm going to explain it. So, uh, I explained it and she was like, yeah, I can see how this is affecting your channel. That is what she said to me verbatim. She was like, I'm going to escalate this to my managers and see if we can get this fixed. She escalated it. And guess what the manager sent me? That same article that's online. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let me see if I take this public, if they will help me, you know, because I have been on YouTube for 10 plus years. This is going to be my 11th year. I've been on this platform for a long time, a lot longer than other people. And so I'm like, so you mean to tell me that there is no loyalty to people who have been loyal to your platform? So because of whatever mix up, there's nothing you can do when clearly my channel is being ranked as not a beauty channel, but as a channel that is a Kwanzaa channel. Are you telling me that? Because my viewership is reflected like that. And while I don't have zero views on my videos or anything like that, I'm not getting the same traction like what I was getting or the same views as what I'm getting. And y'all, I know that there, you have to account for a lot of different things when you're uploading videos. You have to account for the time of year that you post your videos. Sometimes a year are more busier than others. You know, sometimes people are in the house. Last year, it was a surge in, in people watching because everybody was in the house. So it's, it's not that, <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. I know when your views drop down, you're not going to get as many views in July as you do in November. Duh, you know, so um, uh, y'all lose my train of thought sometimes. OK, so I told her, you know, everything that was going on. And I, I'm like, no, it's not that. It's like, obviously, the only people that are that are watching my videos are the people that already know about my channel. And sad, it's sad to say, but about 47 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you if you weren't subscribed to my channel and you don't already regularly watch me and know to come check back for me, then nobody was getting notifications about my channel. And that's a problem. That's a big problem. So um, I'm like, can somebody help me? Y'all saw what I went through with that Twitter going back and forth. Y'all saw that. Nobody was really able to help. So let me try to wrap this story up. All right. So um, I talked to my mama on the phone. And, you know, a lot of y'all DMs me and y'all had so many amazing suggestions of things that I can do. A lot of you all were like, Kelsey, go to the community board chat on YouTube because Nine times out of 10, those aren't people that are just supposed to give canned response. They don't give just canned responses. They're people who actually can help you and look into your case. I'm like, okay, I will definitely do that. I'll probably find a solution there. But also, I was on the phone with my mama. And my mama is, y'all, She, my mama barely knows how to do Zoom. My mama don't know how to do technology stuff, okay? So she was looking on the account. She was looking over all the, the information that was available online. And y'all, I almost got scammed. <laughs> I almost got scammed. Different, totally different scenario. But my mama found this number online that she thought was YouTube's help to number. And y'all, we called them. They sounded so official. They started asking for something weird. And I was like, wait, Ma, I think this is a scam. Y'all, mom was on three-way with me. If I involve my mama in something, then, then it's beyond me. It's above me. I've like, I'm 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 literally over it. So um uh what was I about to say? So I ended up having a hang up. But anyways, anyways, so she was like, Kelsey, is your account a brand account? That's when I realized that my account was not a brand account. And I don't know if you all are content creators, but if you are, I think it's worth to check that if your account is a brand account, because if not, then your account may not be ranking properly in the algorithm. So I went to go look, my account was not a brand account. So I had to transfer my account over to a brand account. And so from there, then I was able to possibly make the switch over to get my account off of that Kwanzaa account. So I think I think I'm on the verge of correcting this issue. Uh, 
But with me switching my account from that account to the brand account and now to the other account, which is a lot of switching, I've lost all of my replies back to you all on comments. So any reply that I ever made back to you all is now gone. And it looks like I never have liked any comment ever in the history of my channel, which really sucks. But those replies belong to the other account. So the first account that I had, those replies belong to that account. If that makes sense. So think of it like if you're on one person's Instagram, but then you log into another Instagram, like basically you don't own those likes and like the likes will still be there on the picture, but you don't own the responses back to that account. Does that make sense? It's too much. It's too much. So I don't have, so I don't have any replies back to you all on anything. So I transferred over my account then I transferred over my account again, and now I have to transfer over my account again, y'all. So hopefully that works. But also, let me tell y'all what really, really, really was the, like, this was it. Okay, so you all know that people who have a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube make money through AdSense. Duh. We all know that. Everybody knows that watching the ads helps you make money. With that money that you get from YouTube, you have to pay taxes on that money. So YouTube, so say for instance, you make 100% of whatever you make on your video. So say for instance, this live right here, I make $100 from this live. I don't make that much money from lives. I'm just, I'm just using a number, right? So say for instance, I make $100 from doing this live. YouTube takes 40% of the money that I make from this live. And then in addition to that, you have to pay taxes because it's a 1099 because we're not employed by YouTube. We're not employed by Google. We are independent contractors who earn money from uploading content on YouTube. So I earned money last year on my content that I did. And every single year they, they mail out a 1099 statement. I never get mine because they always mail it to my old address and they won't update and send it to my new address, even though I have updated it on my end. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. Normally, when I request my tax information to be sent to me electronically, it's not a problem. But it was a problem this year. And they keep saying I don't qualify for it, which I do. Because if you make over a certain amount, you qualify for it. But they keep saying I don't qualify for it. And that's when I, it all was confirmed to me that it was an issue with the account. So, oh. <laughs> Y'all, I am literally frustrated with it because at my, at one point I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start my account over. And everybody was like, no, are you serious? I'm like, because it's too confusing. It's confusing. I'm confused. But to me, it seems like it would be something simple that they could just go on the back end and switch my account to another account. And I wouldn't have had to deal with all of this. But I'm still in, I'm still dealing with this. They still will not give me my tax form. They say I don't qualify for it. So heaven forbid I need to get anything and have to confirm uh, income because I don't have it. I can't confirm it. I don't have a 1099. And on top of that, my account, my account is now under a brand account. So hopefully you all are getting my notifications because I went ahead and I started uploading my videos. I didn't upload hardly any videos, but that, like honestly, since it happened and I noticed that my views were so much lower, I mean, that is really, it's really upsetting because one, I, I don't know. It's just like, how much more? <laughs> how much more? And you know, everybody's like, just keep going, just keep going. And it's like, yes, yes, yes. Cause I, I don't give up. And I'm a person who is very resilient. You can throw things at me and I'm going to bounce back. But it's like, dear Lord, if you, is it, is, am I supposed to be doing this or what? Like, that's how I feel. So hopefully I get it fixed. But if not, just check to see if I, you are still subscribed to me. Turn on your notifications. You may have to return on your notifications because I think this is functioning like a new channel. But I, I just don't know. I don't know. I can't get in touch with anybody, y'all. I tried to email these people. I chatted with them. I'm going back and forth with them. But I hope this makes sense. And this is not the same as me saying, y'all, the algorithm, like, like last year, it was completely how my feelings about the algorithm and how I don't feel like it's fair. Cause like I said, I uploaded videos from 2015 to 2019. Sometimes most of the time first, a foundation, a palette, a launch, whatever is coming out, I'm on it. And a lot of y'all knew me for that. Like, like, yo, I know Kelsey's gonna have it up. And, and I mean, it's only so long you can do something like that and not 
be able to see where it's bumping you ahead. So I kind of slacked off of that. I'm like, you know, I'm a chill. And I was like, I'm a chill. But, you know, I still upload and I still am passionate about my channel. And I love this connection that I have with, with y'all. And that's not what I'm talking about with this. This is literally my account got confused and mixed up. And I'm like, I just needed to get straightened out. So I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully it gets straightened out, but it's really, really frustrating to be honest. I'm not going to quit my channel. That's not what I'm saying at all. I really don't even want to quit. Y'all, I'm, I'm even committed enough to maybe even have to do another one, but I really don't want to do that because I literally have invested thousands of hours on this channel. You feel me? Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. But yes, this, that's amazing. You got to pay taxes on that. And I'm like, YouTube. I mean, I like, I'm, I'm not about that life. I follow the rules. I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm like, YouTube, quit playing with me. Thank you. I think that my videos still show up on some people's feeds. So if you are a person who watches all of my videos, like you literally watch the majority of my videos, most of y'all still get my, my feed or get my subscriptions or get my content whenever I upload it. I think, or at least it shows up and it's not buried, but it's not showing to anybody else. But you know what? I'm going to see what it does now because hopefully I have it fixed now. So we'll see. I'm under a brand account. I've gotten a lot of you all saying that you actually got a notification, which I don't know. But anyways, y'all, I don't want to hold up all the time talking about this. <sighs> Hopefully y'all feel what I'm saying. Y'all understand what I'm saying. Cause I know a lot of you all didn't, didn't really understand what I was saying. Cause I know I got some comments on my post on Instagram. People are like, well, people just forgot about you. Like you just fell off. I'm like, listen, that's your opinion. That is your opinion. And you are entitled to have it, but that's not what I'm trying to say here. And this is not that this is a, a, a matter of, this is a fact. The lady at YouTube even said this was a fact, like this is affecting my channel. It's not a matter of, oh, I just feel like you all should be doing. No, it's not that. That's not this, you know? <sighs> End scene. So, 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 so. <laughs> but yes, I appreciate y'all. Let me go back and read some of these comments. So yes, my mama, oh my gosh, mama always is going to try to help. Like if I, it, my mama don't, it don't matter if she don't even know what I'm talking about. She's going to try to help. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's, I mean, honestly, I get why everybody wouldn't have um, access to your account because it is a security breach or whatever. But after a certain level, somebody should be able. Somebody, mm -mm, forty-seven. Somebody should should be able to help. And that's not uncommon. And you have to account for the fact that some people just aren't subscribed because they watch your content and roll through. But I have a lot of people that write to me and say, hey, I've been watching you for years and I just subscribed yesterday. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Better late than never. But my general rule of thumb is, is that if I watch somebody's content and I've watched more than three videos and I enjoy your your content, then I'm going to watch, you know? So I guess some people feel like you have to really earn their subscribership. And hey, it, whatever works for you is what works for you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it was it was too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So yes, I'm not trying to get any public sympathy. I, I, I don't think there's anything that you all could do. I just want to keep you all in the loop of everything. The reason why I went public with it last week is I was like, maybe it's something that we could do. If YouTube sees the value of people wanting to see my videos, then maybe they will feel more motivated to help me. No, that did not help. They are still on the same tip. Like, mm, sorry about that. So hopefully we can get it to get done together. But the benefit of me going in public and telling you all what I've been going through is a lot of you all have come out and gave and given me really great advice on what to do next. But yes, girl, girl, you're gonna have to watch the replay because I've been talking 25 minutes. Thank you again. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Yes, make sure you are subscribed, ring that bell, make a comment. I responded back to some comments on my video from my last video, my Pat McGrath video, because I'm like, I think. I think that this one is going to stick because I, I've transferred it for the last time. So hopefully I don't have to transfer it again. But if I do and y'all don't see any comments anymore, that's why. Okay. 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 We're going to play with some makeup. We are going to play with some makeup because <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here and play. Missy, I'm not. Hey. 
don't know. Vicky J, I hope your issue gets resolved. Y'all, Vicky J is not monetized on YouTube and she can't get monetized, even though she meets the qualifications. It's like you cannot be selective in who you help, especially if you see that people are actually actively trying to work and do things and be productive and, and love your platform. I love you. I literally love YouTube. It's my favorite platform. So it's like, come on now. All right, y'all. Let's get into this right here. These palettes. Thank you, Violet. I appreciate that. Yeah, I went into overdrive in 2020. Like, I didn't upload as many regular videos, but going live, I went live sometimes three times a week. Just so you all didn't feel alone during that time. Because that was such a weird time. It's weird. It still is weird. But you know how it goes. You know how it goes. I actually heard that they were going out of business. But then I heard that they're not going out of business. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to keep my ear to the streets about that one. But definitely they've been having a lot of sales. So they look like they're going out of business. Because the original rumor was that they were repackaging but then it's like well, you, honey y'all been taking a little while to be repackaging and um then somebody said that they were going out of business and now they said they're not going out of business i don't know i don't know which what is your country let me know Ooh, nope i haven't gotten that one so we will see if i get that we shall see it i love me some house of see y'all see my cupcake Wait, y'all see my cupcakes back there? I oh, love me some House of Siash. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Which palette do you all want to see first? We got both of them. We have the, y'all, the Joya and Aries, which for a long time, these were ranked like some of my number one palettes from Pat McGrath, period. Which one y'all want to see first? They need to be more clear about what they're doing because... The people think they're going out. <laughs> you heard they're reformulating. Um, I saw something circulating on YouTube of somebody talking about talking with one of their customer service reps. Aries. Okay. Congratulations. I love that. Thank you for watching me in Central America. I love that. Aries. Okay, I got two for Aries, so let's do it. All right, so. We starting off zero two. I already have this eye primed. I put on a little bit of my Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Primer. This eye primer is really easy to throw on. It's just an easy to do, easy to throw on eye primer that works really well. And at first I was like, yeah, it's good, it's all right. But now I'm like, this is like the only one that I reach for because it's it has this little doe foot applicator. You put it on. I don't even know why I just put on some more. <laughs> but you put it on and it just blends out in like five seconds. Like... It just gets the job done. So I've been reaching for that one a lot. All right. So let's go here. And y'all, I really don't remember what look I did last time with this one. But I know that I had to get another one because the original one that I had dried out. And that was an issue that was going on with these palettes back when they initially launched. The formulation is still creamy, but they kind of dried out to the point where they shriveled up a little bit in the pan, which was really weird so i'm gonna use my newer one that still is from 2017 it's still old <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go in with the blending brush in burnt terracotta and this one is so pigmented i excuse me i love love this color story so i'm just gonna go back and forth with this one do you all see how creamy that is and how that blended out so effortlessly Come on, burnt terracotta. Y'all, I don't feel like Natasha has given us this formulation since this palette. I feel like there's been other eyeshadow palettes that have been similar, but Natasha will switch it up when it comes to her formula really, really quick. So there's that. Yes. Oh my gosh, they blend, like seriously, like major high quality, major awesome pigmentation it is so beautiful just like that all right so now i'm gonna go here let's see i'm gonna go into red bronze and take that right in the crease right up underneath 
these are the best five pans. And what people, y'all might not know, but her other five pans are the eyeshadows from the Big 24 Pan eyeshadows. So the Big 24 Pan eyeshadow palettes are broken up into five pans, all the other ones that are permanent. These are limited edition. These are not from the 24 Pan, you know? So don't buy the 24 Pan big palette and then say, I'm just gonna go buy all the other little five pan palettes because you already have them if you have both of the 24 pan palettes. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go back and forth in here and blend that out. <laughs> Y'all, I still like this color story. It's still beautiful. I'm gonna go right here and take the same shade right on the outer corner. Whew, y'all, so my allergies are a little bit wonky. I've been taking some allergy medication. I found out, I went to the allergist. I found out I'm allergic to grass. <laughs> Fun, right? No. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that all makes so much sense. So I got an allergy test. I got tested for all the foods because I did have a reaction one time when I was eating lobster last, or year before last now, and I'm not eating lobster since then because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm allergic to lobster. I, apparently it was just that particular one I had a reaction to. Maybe it was old, but I'm not allergic to any foods. I'm not allergic to pretty much any animals. It's just maybe one kind of tree that I don't even know that tree. Grass, Kentucky bluegrass, and I'm allergic to dust. So yeah, there we go. Exactly. Bye picnic, picnics. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. So when I did my ranking video, my Natasha Denona ranking video, so many people were like, well, what about the five pans? I'm like, the five pans are the big 24 pan eyeshadow palettes. Really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. Palette. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. So let's go here. Flat shader. This one is a rougher zero two. And let's take that right. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's take that right there. Y'all see that? That beautiful sparkle. That beautiful, beautiful sparkle. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take that here too. It's so freaking pretty. I love this eyeshadow so bad. Mm. Oh, wait. Which ones? These? I link these down below. It's not affiliate links, but I linked them just so you all can reach them really quick. Okay. Me too, Sharon. That's all like that's it. <laughs> no summertime, no winter time. 60 to 72. California weather me, please. Let's see. What should I do now? Should I do blue on the lid or should I do gold on the lid? What y'all want to see? What y'all want to see? Gold or blue? Girl, he is not coming on here. <laughs> that ship has sailed. He is like, he is not into social media, doing all of that. Like, he don't even want me to let y'all know what his name is because he does not want to be have any attention from social media. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. So the 10 pan eyeshadow palette are unique shades, the 24, the 24. And then, of course, all of her other eyeshadow palettes that have names. So the 24 and 24, I don't remember them having, oh yeah, it's like blue, purple, and green, brown, but it doesn't have like special names like the Glam Palette or the Tropic Palette. The five pans are the 24 pan eyeshadow palettes. And I know a lot of y'all did not know that. I know a lot of y'all didn't know that because I kept getting too many comments asking me how come I didn't include the five pan palettes within the ranking video. I'm like, because it's these y'all. <laughs> so yes, but you know, the good thing about if you wanted to have the five pans, is if you wanted to travel with them. Because nobody's gonna take that big old 24 pan eyeshadow palette and not come back with it broken because it's too big. It's not travelable. But if if you don't travel, you do your eyeshadow like at home, like honey, like it's fine. Okay. Still blue, blue, blue. Okay, y'all are like blue. Okay. Yeah, he's mm -mm, he not coming <laughs> at all. Okay. So let's do blue whenever I look on here and I'm trying to look on the screen, it's hard to figure out <laughs> which way I'm going. So we're doing blue on the lid, right? Look at that. Y'all, this is three years old and it's still gliding on like silk. 
granted, I store my eyeshadows. This is four years old. Dang. Okay. I store my eyeshadows somewhere where the temperature is regulated. So it's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's not in the bathroom, which, you know, you store your makeup and stuff in the bathroom. It will definitely change it. So that helps. But I mean, still, it's still gliding on like the day I got it. I will keep some eyeshadow quicker than I will keep foundation, like foundation and stuff. For me, that has a shelf life of about a year and a half to two years, then it has to go, you know? But powders, I'm going to keep it until I think it looks different. So that's me. I just went back with a little bit of that orange. Y'all, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. I didn't, I know I didn't want all that eyeshadow in the Mega Pan palette, so I've just chosen some of the five pans. And that makes sense because it's like if you're not going to use it all, why abuse it all? That is sickening. All right, so let's do a little bit of eyeliner on the top. You can go forward and keep going with this one, but I think it looks good like this. Y'all, I'm looking for some brown eyeliner, and I never can find any real fast. Where is my eyeliner? Oh, you know what I want to use? I'm going to use this. I think this might be a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> we'll see how I like this. Hold on. Let me get an eyeliner brush. Okay. This one is the Danessa Myricks Waterproof Cushion Color and Totally Tangerine. So we'll see if I like this. So I'm just going to dip in here. Okay. Okay, I don't know what made me want to do this, but it's turning out cute. Okay, exactly. Or either if they have hard pan, then I'll get rid of it. But powder, it just doesn't harbor and grow bacteria the same way, you know? I, I use a clean brush most of the time, so I just don't worry about it too much. Okay, so the thing about these Danessa cushions is that you kind of got to wait. Wait on it to kind of dry down a little bit and then you can layer it again. Thanks, Sharon. Yes, for the win. Thank you. You're so sweet. Yes, all the blue. Yes. So do you all have any plans for summer? Are y'all doing anything fun? Are y'all going to still stay in the house? What y'all doing? How is it where you all are? Because when I say Tennessee, it's wide open. I'm like, that was too fast. <laughs> oh, sure would. Sure would. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, let me go in again. I know Sharon is here for the blue. Sharon is the blue lady. Okay. See, these take a while to build up. They have this cushion, so you press it down. You just kind of got to be patient. And patience is what I, like, don't have that much. I think these would fare better on top of a white background, though. So if I already had, like, white paint down or white eyeliner down, and I put these on top of there, I think I could get it to be opaque a little bit faster than by itself. Because by itself, these are a little bit water watery-like. But we're getting there. Oh, so are you from Memphis? That's where my people live. <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute. Are you? I have not been there since I was like 15. Nice. I know I just talked to somebody from Canada earlier today, and I know Canada is kind of kind of still locked down. It's like the opposite of America. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. I have a lot of family from Chicago too. From because you know, back and back, 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 back in the day, a lot of people from the South migrated up to Chicago and Detroit. And I have a lot of family in both cities. It's like the tie between Mississippi, Memphis, Chicago, and Detroit is so strong. It's it's crazy. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. Ooh, I have not been there since I was like 20. 
I want to go back there. I had a good time, but I did go for spring break though. But you know what? I wasn't even 20. I was probably like, I was probably like 18, like real young. Like that was like one of the first trips my mom was like, okay, you could go by yourself with your friends. I was like, okay. And we turned up. <laughs> we had fun. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. Oh my God, that is so amazing. Really? Your parents retired to Nashville, but your mom, your parents retired to Memphis, but your mom is from Nashville. Wow. What made them leave Nashville to go back to, or go to go to Memphis? Okay, Chicago in the house, Toledo, Ohio, Orlando, right. You can go outside and you are on vacation. Orlando is like my third home. So like my real home is Memphis. Then my, and then I have so many ties to cities in Tennessee and then Atlanta is my second home, then Orlando, then Miami. So I, I speak fluent in Florida. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you are too. Seriously. Really? Yeah, that's really cool. NYC, now in LA. Oh, I didn't know that, Sharon. I did not know that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Sharon. Everybody thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, darling. Did you get my uh, my message on Instagram? Because I didn't see your response. I'm like, did she get it? Yeah. I, I mean, it's always like that when you're somewhere where you don't live. Or I mean, where you live, it's like, yeah, blah. Everybody's so excited about it. Like, I don't get excited about Nashville either. People are like, I'm coming to Nashville. We're like, have fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh. We kind of talked about that in the beginning. You might have to turn back on your notifications for me because I had to switch accounts. <laughs> oh, nice. Hey, everybody. Yes. Canada, you still on lockdown. Right. That's what I figure for you all. Ooh, nice. My grandparents went on a, a cruise for, at, uh, they, got, they went on a cruise to Alaska and they got left at like one of the, the sites or whatever where they were able to go and get souvenirs and all that stuff like that so they kind of are like mm, anti anti us going on a cruise or anything like that to alaska they're like yeah, no <laughs> hey from arkansas oh, i love you too okay i'll check again really see i didn't i even though i'm from tennessee memphis and nashville are two different worlds like, I would come here sometimes, but I really never, Nashville wasn't my stomping ground until college when I came here. Nice. All right, y'all, let's finish off this look. That's cool. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to take a rougher 03, which is like my favorite pencil brush, period. Period. And I'm going to go right here. It's because it's so small and I can just go right in with it. It's a really, really thorough brush i love this brush and then let's see what color have i used i use this i use this i use this i didn't use the gold so let's go in with the gold okay Ooh. let's go here that's pretty Okay, and I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, this rougher pencil brush is the truth. It it outdoes any other pencil brush I have in my entire collection. Nice. The orange liner is Danessa Myricks, totally tangerine. So here we go. Should I do liner and lashes? Y'all care? What y'all want to do? What am I doing? Did y'all see my update about this Pat McGrath Dark Star mascara? Because <laughs> I really did not like it at first. And I, I actually thought I threw away the old one, but I still have it. Let me show y'all the old one real quick. Because I need to talk to y'all about this again. Okay. 
Okay, so here's my old Pat McGrath mascara, Dark Star. And here's what it looks like. So I don't know if you all can tell, but my old one is broken on the inside. And so my formula was dried out from the jump. This is basically a brand new tube of mascara. It always was flaky and it did not work. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't even like it. If you can see, it doesn't even close. It's brand new. It's got like a little gap. So when I got it, it was defective. And I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> so y'all know I love auntie. But I, I mean, I'm just going to have to say what it is. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But I got a new one. I got a new one. And this mascara is the bomb because I can really tell what the formula is like. So I'm so amazed. And I have to let y'all know that this this mascara is amazing and i know a lot of you all listen to me and you're like mm, a lot of y'all may not have even bought the mascara because i said i didn't like it but little did i know it was because my tube was defective so i have to say it again like no this is bomb try it out it's an amazing mascara i just needed a new one because my original one was broken who knew okay so i just put on a little bit just so we can get into the other look tiani it's like no no like let's move on that's I'm like, oh, oh, I'm like, okay. Well, you know, different strokes, different folks. But you know what? <laughs> it, we just needed a new one. We just needed a new one. You could tell you would autom you would automatically be able to tell because it's so flaky if it's dried out because it's a tubing mascara. So it it it's not the same as a regular mascara that just would be like a little bit drier. It's like unusable for sure. And mascara is one of those things that's got to get out of here. Like I said, I keep powders and stuff like that. I might even keep a lipstick from time to time. But mascara, I'm not keeping a mascara longer than like three months. It's got to go. That, that's, that's something I really am strict about. All right. Y'all, let's get into this next palette, which is the Joya palette. I have not tried them either. Ooh, I love and I'm not even just saying that because I've worked with Wayne Goss. I genuinely love his brushes. I think he makes some of the best brushes. I love Wayne Goss brushes. I love Sonya G brushes. I love BK Beauty brushes. I love Refer brushes. Chica Hodo brushes. Haku Hodo brushes. Surat brushes. Those are my brushes. I mean, oh, 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 Royal and Lane Nickel brushes. I love Royal and Lane Nickel's omnia brushes those i mean those are really great brushes they're all at different levels though okay so some brushes are going to be introductory brushes they're brushes that are going to do a great job they're going to upgrade you and then some brushes are going to be super high price point brushes that are going to be lifelong brushes that you're never gonna that you're gonna take care of and you know that those brushes are going to give you dynamite dynamite looks but with all those different price points and different brush types you can get good. You can get uh, good looks. Period. I have not tried them. Oh no! This is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I, I like the Hourglass Mascara, but Hourglass is not doing better. So collectively, as a community, I think that Hourglass is just kind of on the outs. Hopefully, they get their their life. Because I mean, I don't know. Ooh. Auntie is going to be doing the thing. All right. I don't really get into her stuff. And I don't know what went on with her and her brand. Um, I'm going to let you just Google that one, though. Because I, I can't say exactly what happened. But Google Google what, what, what went down with Linda Halbert. Um, I didn't. And you know what? I missed out on the uh, Ray Morris natural hair brushes. And I haven't purchased the new synthetic. Joss the Boss, Color Rain, A Few Luxie, and Sephora Pro. And those are great starting point brushes. But I think the next move for you would be Refer Brushes, Sharon. And then Refer Brushes can go to Chica Hoda Brushes. Because even though they're all Fude brushes, they're all great quality. There is a difference there in the bristle type and the amount of bristles in the brushes. That's really the biggest difference. But Refer Brushes are phenomenal brushes. If you ever got a chance to try out MAC Natural Hair Brushes, 
rougher brushes put me in the same mind frame as that, except for they're better quality because they actually are made in Japan. Yeah, Marc Jacobs brushes are amazing too, but I'm not going to recommend them because we don't even know what Marc Jacobs is doing. And, and we can't even get our hands on them good. All right, y'all, let's get in here. Oh, oh, my eyeshadow just fell out. See, that's what I'm talking about with these. They fall out of the pan. Hold on, let me get it off the ground. Ugh. That's the main thing that I don't like about this palette. They dry out and it falls out. There's my eyeshadow. <sighs> Hopefully, this is a new set of eyeshadows and they, they correct this issue. Dang. I'm trying to press my eyeshadow back in here. I'm mad. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hakuhodo. H-A-K-U-H-O-D-O. Hakuhodo. Yes. Amazing. No, it's not. And it's all good. Like, I think that a lot of people are looking at, you know, well, food that should be food. That it's all made in the same place. It's like, no, that's not true. That's just like saying all the clothes should be made the same because it's all at the mall. Mm -mm. Different stores have different stuff. It's different fabrics. It's different cuts. Quality is different. You know, it all serves the same purpose to, you know, do your makeup. It all serves the same purpose to blend out everything. But at the end of the day, if one brush is able to get one of the most exclusive, exclusive type of bristles, then of course they're not going to char charge the same price to pack a brush full as another brush that's able to just get whatever goat that is, is running abundantly. For exclusivity, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. Stay in the packaging. Well, I know. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's been my issue with these since the beginning. Love the Syrah face brushes. I love the Syrah brushes, period. I think they're amazing. Mirrors? What, what do you mean? In packaging? I don't know. You know what? I don't want to say anything that's not politically correct because I know that mirrors maybe cannot be recycled or something like that. Is that it? I don't know. But you know what? To be completely honest with you, I don't use mirrors on my makeup. To be like, to be completely honest, I, if I have I, this is what I have. If I was going when I was going outside, I have a compact mirror. That this is my old Henry Bindle one. I would keep this one. It says I love me. This is my mirror that I would use for touch ups, or I'll use what is it called? Glam Core that light up mirror. I keep that, but I don't ever like say hey. Let me get my eyeshadow palette out and look at this mirror. Maybe for a powder, it makes sense. If you just keep this in your bag for touch-ups and stuff like that, it makes sense to have a mirror. But for eyeshadow palettes, to me, it's like, I'm not going to use it anyways. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> I love the Yano series, too. Amazing brushes. No, like a standing mirror. I don't know what you're asking me. I like them. <laughs> What about those on standing mirrors? What, do, do I have recommendations for standing mirrors? What do I think about standing mirrors? Tell me what, tell me the exact question you want me to answer. Lit. I hate that I don't have two of those sets. Yeah. I use this mirror for when I'm doing my makeup. I wish it had a longer, I wish I had a longer thing. Yeah. Eat some brushes are nice too. My time for natural hair brushes. But I, I just don't say those too much because, you know. No. I don't think they're comparable in the formulation or the shades. I think these are completely unique. And these are some of my favorites. All right. I know we said we're going to get into this eye look. What did I do with my eye primer? Y'all, my station is a mess. Because like I said, I did do a live earlier today on Instagram. For those of you all who just came in. Go check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, one, because I'm going to start being more active on Instagram. I am I am okay with Instagram. You know what I'm saying? It's not my favorite platform. However, I still have to be active on there because 
if you're going to be a good content creator, you cannot put all of your eggs in one basket. And as much as I love YouTube, sometimes YouTube don't love me back. So I need to have connections with you all there. So I have 56,000 people that follow me on here. I think I have 11,000 people on Instagram. I would hate to lose access to you all one day and not have a way to get in touch with you when I could have just been telling you all all along. Follow me on multiple places because Instagram and YouTube are not connected. So I need to stay in connection with you all. So definitely I need y'all to follow me on Instagram too, just in case. You know, we need to always be together. Not my cowbells. <sighs> so in return, I don't want you all to just be following me for nothing because I will admit I'm not as active on Instagram. I'm not. I'm going to start being more active on Instagram and doing dedicated stuff for Instagram. Like today, I did an IGTV. That was my first time doing IGTV. IGTV has been out, I don't know, five years. <laughs> probably not that long. Probably like two or three. I never have done it. So I want to start doing more stuff on there and connecting, keeping in connection with you all there. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So follow me on there. It's Kelsey Brianna J. Really? I want to see a picture, Sharon. Send me a picture. Me too. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. You like pap smears. Okay. I, I mean, I still like, you, it don't matter how amazing the mirror is. Like this mirror is a good mirror with this new eyeshadow quad. I'm still not going to do my eyes like this. I'm, I'm just not going to. I'm going to use this mirror or whatever mirror. It's okay. Hey, Christy. Thank you, Daphne. And I'm. it's going to be even more, even more. So definitely follow me. Okay. Okay. For real. Let's get into this palette. So I prime my eyes and let's do this. So Joya is beautiful. When these first came out, I'm like, I don't know which one I like more. Do I like Joya or do I like Aries more? I never could decide. I think when it comes down to it, I think I like this one more aries so if you can only get one i still like aries more even though it's the warm tones with the blue the warm tones with the blue i just think it looks like a different it's just different it's still different thank you i appreciate that so yes i have a twitter i have an instagram i have a facebook i have a like to know it account y'all go follow me on like to know it for sure that is connected with reward style. You have to download an app and then you follow me on there. And then I can update you all with different sales and stuff like that. Cause I don't ever want y'all to feel like I'm just like pushing sales down your throat, but I definitely like to keep you all in the know when stuff comes back and stop. So I probably can do it on like to know it quicker. So I'm gonna put all of the places you can follow me. So as many places as you all are active, follow me on there. And it's time to turn up. Hi. Ooh, okay, so really quickly, Chica Hodo, the Z series is phenomenal. If you can get your hands on the KZ Kazan series, you need that. Surat, if you only get one brush from Surat, get the face brush. But honestly, I love all of the brushes. If you watch my Pat McGrath blush video that I just did, I used the slanted Surat brush as well as the high highlighter brush, beautiful brushes. Y'all know brushes, I love the face brushes more than the eye brushes, but I love both. But definitely the face set and the bigger ones from the face set if you have to be even more edited. I'm done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Good to know. Good to know. Glamcore or Ricky or Ricky Love Ricky just made an adjustable stand for the mirrors. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I need that because I have... Thank you. I need to go get that today. Hopefully it's on sale. <laughs> yes, I just want to keep y'all posted about the sales. I'm not pushing y'all. If you shop through my link, I get a small percentage. And when I say small percentage, I mean like a dollar or two dollars. But the, the difference comes when a lot of people shop through there. And then those little checks that you get from affiliate links keep you afloat, especially during times when YouTube just... So... Yes, like to know it. It's basically like a shopping app. So I post stuff and then I'm able to link my reward style links and you all can click it and shop through them. But you know, you, know, you don't have to shop if you don't, you know, you can still have the app. You can just see what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
I'm not missing any of them. I actually have all of them. I just want to have another set of them because I love them. <laughs> I love them. Yep, the Sarai angled brush. Oh my gosh, Dawn. The Sarai brushes, period, honestly. That's hilarious. Oh, oh, heavy on the shine. Now you put some pressure on me. I'm like, dang, am I about to kill this look? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's go here next. If this eyeshadow falls out one more time. Oh, maybe I need to go ahead and just buy another one on Natasha Denona's website while it's there. Oh, look at this, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Y'all, my Instagram is kind of going ham. I'm like, what is going on over there? Okay, look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay. Use relevant hashtags to your videos. So if you do a video, say for instance, you're doing a video on Natasha Denona and you're using these two palettes, hashtag Natasha Denona, has, hashtag Natasha Denona Joya, hashtag Natasha Denona Joya Aries, hashtag Natasha Denona Aries, like that. And just be consistent when the stuff uploads or when stuff launches. It definitely helps when you're able to get in on a popular launch because then you'll show up quicker and on the search feed versus if you do videos about things that aren't necessarily popular which that's it's not a problem doing that it's just if you're if your main objective is to grow gotta spend that money get the new stuff thank you Ooh. you think so <laughs> i think that about myself too honestly uh I, I probably do i probably do okay hold on let me get this eyeshadow that fell on the ground i i know that um uh, sharon has asked me about being a moderator like 10 times and i keep saying and i keep telling her i'm like sharon just go on my page and comment and then i'll add you as a moderator and every every time i do a live i forget until i do the live i'm so sorry my brain child I'm going to add y'all as moderators, seriously. The problem is, is when you're doing live through StreamYard, then you can't add people or just click to add them as a moderator like you can on YouTube. So I'll have to do it afterwards. I'll add y'all as moderators. Oh. Let's get this eyeshadow right here before it just completely breaks. Because child, it just will not let me be great. It's still creamy. But honey, it's going to make me have a headache. Let me do it with my finger. Mm. That's pretty. What y'all think about that shade? I think I'm kind of mad at the shade right now. <laughs> this eyeshadow don't stop trying to play with me. That's one thing I don't play with myself. You're not about to play with me. <laughs> I feel sorry for any children that I have because I just don't play. I'm <laughs> like, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I'm just kidding. But seriously, I mean, it's cute. It's cute. I'm kind of kind of mad at it. But we'll see what else it does. I'm going to go with this one. Good night, Sharon. Talk to you later. Okay. I might just go ahead and get some new ones. Two. Ooh. That one is gorge. It kind of looks like the other one, except for it's more golden. Okay. Probably Surat, the Surat blush brush. Y'all must want to do some videos about brushes because y'all are into brushes right now. Okay, let me go here. Y'all want to do some brush videos? 
Look at that. I, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what the original look is that I did. Honestly, it was too long ago. So my apologies if I'm doing the same look. <laughs> I really don't remember. Okay. It's real gold. Let me go back in. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to be honest. I care for all my brushes the same way. <laughs> All of my brushes are important to me, whether or not I spend a lot of money on them or not. Like, I just have a serious love affair with my brushes. So I wash my brushes with African black soap. And then I do not get the ferro wet. I just wash the bristles. I'll do a video talking about it soon. Maybe like a shorts on YouTube because I'm experimenting with shorts and show you all how I wash my brushes really quickly and easily. Cause it's, it, the way I wash my brushes is so simple. I don't like to do too much. Okay, for sure. But I love brushes. I love brushes. I love brushes just as much as makeup. I was about to say, I love brushes more than makeup. I love brushes just as more than makeup. Just as, mo just as much as makeup is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, for me, this look is really pretty. It's kind of like Christmassy looking though. Like I wouldn't wear this if it wasn't the holidays. Because to me, this looks like chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> There's that. Okay, me too. Sunday is my brush washing day. And as soon as I'm done with this, guess what? I'm hitting it. <laughs> Why? Oh, really? They they should have shipping for a minimum though, right? Cuz I ordered my last palette from Natasha Denona. And I think I pay I pay for expedited shipping. Like I always do. Y'all, I didn't pay somebody's college tuition and expedited shipping fees. But I pay for expedited shipping for y'all. I can't even remember the palette. Zendo. Is that the last palette? Zendo? Yeah. I paid for expedited shipping with that one. And it was $20. But I think it had a free shipping option if you reach a certain amount, if I want to say. I think it's a little much for my personal brushes. Maybe if you're trying to, you know, keep stuff sanitary, then maybe not. It, it can disinfect. But for me, I have so many brushes. And these are not even all my brushes, y'all. These are my brushes I have on display. But uh, I have so many brushes that I just rotate them. And I don't feel like I need to, um, I, don't, I need to spot clean them. I just deep clean them at the end of the week and then I just move on and use other brushes if I need some new brushes. Cause I don't like, I don't want to wear my brushes down. No. Um, Lila talking about the big Lila palette. None of these colors are like the Lila palette. Let me see if I see the Lila palette real quick. That's the Beaver palette. Lila. Mm -mm. Okay. So Lila. These aren't even the same texture. These pa these palettes, these eyeshadows in here. Gosh, darn it. This is going to make me cuss. <laughs> these are in here. Okay, it finally broke, y'all. It finally just broke. Why do I keep doing it? I don't know. So those colors in here are completely different. And then, clearly, I just don't care. So these colors in here. Wait, I have two of these. But this one is supposed to be the one that doesn't fall out. Why is this one falling out? Just be warned that if you get these palettes and they fall out of the pan, that's what they do. That's what these do. And I got two of these because of the same problem. So if, it get, if you get it and it does it, don't be surprised. I'm gonna put that right there. Mm-hmm. 
literally <laughs> super glue seriously <sighs> got on my computer okay let me put this back i still got a piece of it it's not fully broken but it's broken enough it actually like cracked off this time yeah even after they shrivel up they're still creamy but they are shriveling really see my beef is still in perfect condition that that's ugh, ugh. that one is one of my favorites oh thank you christy christy's a kvu graduate Thank you for taking my class, Christy. I appreciate you. I loved meeting you. I know. I'm just going to order a new one. <laughs> that's why I'm not even mad. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what it is with these. I love the color story of them. I love this one more than the other one. But you know what? I think both of them are gorgeous. They're beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. The formulation of them is unmatched. And for $25... I said go for it. I think they're beautiful. So let me know what you all think about these in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to me, y'all. Just in case you're not subscribed. I will keep you all posted with the whole YouTube situation. I think we're on track, though. I think we're I think we're on track. Hopefully we get it all settled. They're able to get in there, able to give me my tax information. Because that's major. But right now I have a brand account. I can I can say that most people have been saying that or getting my notifications, which is important. So hopefully we get back on the up and up. Let's see. But yeah, these are the looks that we're doing. If you're watching the replay, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey, or hey they, hey. Let's see. <laughs> well, they are old, Sharon. They are old. They're 25 bucks. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is what it is. I'm willing to deal with it, but I just want to let y'all know that it's something that you might have to deal with. Or not, I'm buying the glam palette. Well, you know, the glam palette is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love you too, darling. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for joining me tonight on tonight's live. I don't know when I'm going to go live again. I definitely want to go live to talk to you all about what I was going on because I know y'all are like, I don't get it. Because <laughs> some people are like, well, upload more. I'm like, if nobody can see it, <laughs> what is the point? You know, I'm still going to upload, but it's like, Uploading 20 videos is, is not going to make a difference if only 10 people can see and not your use. So make sure you all are subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on. Let me put my little hair down. I'm, I'm into my looks. I'm into my looks. I'm going to place an order for some new looks. Let me know if you all get these palettes. Let me know what you think about them. If you do this look. Make sure you tag me and tag Natasha Denona. Let a girl know on Instagram. What do I have coming up? I need to post my Dior summer collection video because I already have that done. So that'll be this week. Let's see. What do I have coming up? Dior. Now I'm trying to remember what I filmed. Child, what did I film? So cool. Summer 2021. I have the new NARS blush palette that's coming up. Hmm. I, I don't know. I have like 30 videos that I already did, but like super, super new. I don't know. The only thing that I bought really, really new was Pat McGrath blushes. I already gave that to you. Um, Zendo gave that to you. I don't have anything else that's like extra new. Now I'm just going to be working up. Working on getting older content out that you all still, you know, y'all still want to watch. Y'all still would like it. But that's it. Oh, and I bought the new Lisa Eldridge collection. I bought every, I didn't buy everything. I did not buy all of the lipsticks. 
And I didn't get a chance to get pink soap because that one was sold out. But when I get that stuff in, then I'll do that. The Valentino collection is launching soon. I want to get some of that. What do I think about Juvia's Place Size Shadows? I really like them. I really like them. I think that like, just like what I was talking about with the brushes though, it's like those are nice eyeshadows, but you can't go in looking for Pat McGrath quality, you know? So they're great eyeshadows, especially for the price point that you pay for them. It's okay. Hey, my darling. It's okay. Girl, no. I have to do stuff that the majority of everybody's going to watch. And right now, with the way that my content is going and how I need to catch up, while that would be fun, I think that certain videos just aren't going to get views from me. So, like, drag makeup, hair makeup, I mean, hair tutorials, really tutorials in general. It's kind of like it's it's a hit or miss whether or not people want to see it. People... People, the people on my channel, the majority of y'all like new reviews of products. That's what y'all like. So I did not, I have not watched any of it. I have not had time. So I want to though. Yes, I love it. All right, y'all. I'm going to head out. I hope that you all have a good night. It's 840. Y'all have a great Memorial Day. I probably am not going to go live tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm going to upload video, a video tomorrow, just because I don't know if everybody will watch it because y'all might be outside. But I'll check you all soon. Y'all know I'll be back sometime this week with more content. So y'all have a good night. Stay safe. Smooch ass. Bye. My okay, I like to end while I'm smiling. Okay, bye.